Process Parameters Appropriate selection of process parameters is critical to the success of powder bed fusion 3D printing. The combination of different process parameters governs the dynamics of powder melting and solidification to form the part. This requires understanding the correlation between parameters and their effect on the part quality. The main powder bed fusion process parameters comprise Heat source power, total energy emitted by the laser or electron beam per unit time Spot size, the diameter of the focused beam which is either fixed or programmable depending on the machine focusing system Layer thickness, the height of powder layer to be melted Scanning speed the speed at which the spot travels across the powder bed along the scan vector. Hatch spacing, the distance between adjacent scan vectors. Inert gas flow rate. For any part print, the spot size is either fixed or cannot be changed during the build. Layer thickness is normally pre-selected and fixed based upon the balance between the surface finish, resolution and build speed. Hence the parameters which mainly varied are Power Scanning speed Hatch spacing The relationships between the power and the scanning speed describe different possible outcomes of melting and fusion process, which helps to define an optimal processing window to make good quality parts. Different possible outcomes are Lack of fusion if the scan speed is too fast and the power is too low, then the powder does not completely melt, leading to lack of fusion and porosity. Note, due to rapid solidification, lack of fusion scenario experience less turbulence and generate fewer spatters. This also leaves unmelted powder underneath, resulting in excessive porosity. Keyhole Formation if the power is too high for the chosen speed, then the melt pool overheats, causing deeper energy penetration, leading to an effect known as keyhole formation. Note, the deeper melt cavity in the surface observes metal vapor being ejected more vertically. The increase in energy input increases melt pool turbulence and spatter formation. Bling up effect there is a limit to the power and scanning speed, beyond which the welt pool becomes unstable, leading to beading effect known as bullying up. This also leads to an increase in spatter formation at higher power. Note, at higher scanning speeds, the melt pool can become unstable, leading to formation of voids behind the laser, causing the melt pool to break apart into separate islands that solidify as weld beads. Operating process window In between these two extremes lies an operating process window, where a good quality highly dense part with minimal floors can be achieved. Here, the energy from the source is sufficient to fully melt the powder and underlying metal, without penetrating it too deeply into previous layers. Note, the appropriate combination of scanning speed and power generates a stable melt pool of optimal size, which results in good quality parts with minimal porosities. Optimum process window For a particular powder with given layer thickness and hatch spacing, there is an optimum energy density that creates a melt pool of the optimum depth and width. Energy density is the amount of energy applied to the material per unit volume. Note, while selecting process parameters, it is important to be along the optimum energy density contour, without moving too far towards the balling up region. X defines the optimum processing point for the given material. Hatch spacing Hatch spacing can also be varied independent of the power and scanning speed, which affects the energy density. It is important to choose a hatch spacing that upholds on an optimum energy density, which is away from both the lack of fusion and keyhole formation regions. Note. Parameters in the blue zone in the diagram can provide acceptable results, where X defines the ideal spot. 
hatch spacing similar to the beam spot size or smaller is generally recommended. Layer thickness Layer thickness can also be varied where thicker layers require higher energy to ensure complete fusion to the metal powder underneath. With the increase in layer thickness, energy input per layer must also increase. Hence, the energy density contour becomes steeper resulting in a smaller operating window. Note, the applied layer thickness that gives a reasonable operating window varies from material to material. It is normally in the range of 20 to 90 microns, for the laser spot diameters of 70 to 100 microns. Hatching, Contour and Scanning Strategies Hatch pattern fills in the solid volume areas of the part, whereas contour fills the boundary areas. Hatch parameters usually impact the bulk porosity and the build speed of the final part. Contour parameters affect the surface finish of the part. Scanning Strategies There are different laser scanning strategies, used in the laser powder bed fusion, based on the applications and their requirements. Laser traverse can be unidirectional and or bidirectional, while scanning a single layer on the powder bed. Commonly employed strategies are Scanning strategy impacts the process-induced residual stresses and hence to be carefully chosen to reduce residual stresses. Note, scanning strategy of turning each successive layer by 67 degrees minimizes residual stress. In many cases, a 90 degrees alternating direction scan strategy is also used. Inert gas flow Inert gas flow is critical for the quality of the built part. It is used to prevent oxidation of the material. Note, producing and maintaining an oxygen and moisture-free environment is critical, especially when processing reactive materials. Remove process emissions away from the melt pool and preserve a clear path for the laser beam down to the powder bed. Transport process emissions away from the powder bed, and maintain the clean build chamber by minimizing accumulation of particles on the chamber walls, ceiling and optical windows. The constant optimized gas flow rate across the whole build plate is required to generate consistent melting conditions in all regions. Note, low gas flow rate around the localized regions of the base plate or its recirculation leads to inconsistent part quality. Optimization of process parameters Optimization of process parameters is essential to ensure high-density parts, with desired mechanical properties and minimal acceptable flaws. Design of experiments is performed using simple geometries, such as solid cubes to optimize different process parameters. Each specimen is built by varying main process parameters such as power and scanning speed to establish a range of different energy densities. Each sample is assessed for build density and surface finish. Different process parameters are required for bulk material and thin wall areas of the part build. Therefore different design of experiments usually required to establish suitable process parameters for each of them. Note. Identified optimum parameters may not be suitable for all geometries and requires further tuning for different geometries. In order to print consistently high quality parts, it is extremely crucial to maintain the quality of the powder material and minimize process variations through appropriate quality and process control measures.